Thanks for uh, coming back for a second episode. Uh, you know, I, I, uh, I'll, you know, I'm going to hold it. I mean, that's how important you are to me. Is I'm going to hold it and uh, let's go. We have a jam-packed episode today. So, so come on, come on, dude. Fucking flush. Finish out. You're not going to wipe your ass. You're a stinky motherfucker. Let's go, stinky motherfucker. I'm going to ask you to wash your hands. I'm sure you're not. Jesus Christ. What? What do they teach you kids today? All right. Well, listen. Here's the deal. We have had a great week. Uh, as you might remember, if you did watch last week, uh, we were wrapping up a milestone. We actually just finished about five minutes ago. And so uh, Nick, who's our producer, is going to show the video uh, of the milestone to the whole team. First off, I just want to say thanks to everyone for all their efforts. I knew it was a lot of time staging, a lot of the action, and a lot of effort went into the feature development and everything. So um, I think everything came together really well. So just wanted to say thanks before we watch it. And without further ado, I will roll the picture. I, I just thought, uh, I thought the team did great. I'm super proud of them, super proud of what we sent off to the publisher. Um, I hope everybody loves it. I, I'm, you know, it's one of the things where you go into the weekend going, wow, we worked our asses off this last month, but certainly this last week. And uh, you're just real excited about it. And uh, so it's a good feeling, one of the good things about working in games. Um, speaking of working in games, speaking of working your uh, ass off, we uh, had an interesting conversation here at the studio a couple days ago, and we thought you might uh, like to see a little bit of that. Okay, so I have not been, I, I, I bring this up because here we are eating pizza. I don't know if there's Nick back there. What's, what, this is a lot of pizza this week, right? Or yeah, food this week. Time. Second time. And then there was a lot of there was pizza last week. Yeah. Point, I love pizza. But is this idea of crunch and sort of the philosophy, because I got a, an email today from a journalist saying, hey, do you want to talk about uh, the rise thing? And I have, didn't even know any, does anybody know what this no. is? So I guess a new game coming from Crytek, a launch title for the new Xbox. Uh, this, uh, one of the managers of their Twitter account put a Twitter post saying that they bought like over 11,000 launches for their dev team. And the response to that has been pretty chaotically bad. It's just everyone's like, oh my god, all the deaths, never been home to their families, and never eat dinner with their families. So the journalist, he says, oh, well, what do you think about that? Do you, you know, what do you think about crunch? And do you have to crunch to compete? And I don't, I mean, this is, you know, mm -hmm. I don't fucking know, right? I mean, I think you kind of do. You don't have to crunch like that. The idea of going home, and, I mean, there was a great thing on Polygon Clay, I think, Interactive. Did mm -hmm. you see this? Where it was like, oh hey, everybody leaves at 5 or 5.30 and it's balance and all that. <laughs> I've never worked on a game that's been successful that it's like, yeah, it's 5 o'clock, it's quitting time. Here until like, what, 1.15 last night? <laughs> so, I mean, that's like the norm for me, you know. Mm -hmm. so it's, but it's, that's it's, always you know, been the norm for you. Yeah, you I, mean, like I, just get my I just get my best up done at night when it's like, yeah, it's not constant. Like, oh, let's go do this now, go do that now. It's like, boom, I like, guess. Focus, get in the zone, and just... Yeah, it's like you don't see it until the end, right? And I think it's okay to crunch if you're making it better and you're excited to, but, I mean, towards the end, it's like all the features come together, you may have to crunch, because it's like, oh, wait, this isn't working, and it's due next Thursday. Like, what are you going to do? You cut or you put more effort in. We've gotten into such a funk in games with AAA that everything's got to be spit polished and perfect and grand and epic that I think it's... that you can't cut corners, you know? I saw that... Uh, one of the Mummy movies clearly had one effect shot that really wasn't done, but they released it with it, and it sticks out like a sore thumb. And I think if you're going to do something like that in a game like Uncharted, you know, or Gears of War, it's, you can't ship that. But I think your perspective is that of the developer who can call stuff out, let's say, the Mummy or other games, but I would say most most consumers, can they really tell the difference? No, no you're absolutely right. But I'm saying right. games, too. Like, do people notice stuff? No, I think they care. care. Yeah. Look at Grand Theft Auto 3. That game was one of the most visually unappealing games. I mean, that, that, that's not true. It wasn't crap. Yeah. But compared to what was the big deal at the time, nobody complained because they were entertained by what they were yeah. given yeah. and what the team focused on. So I do think part of it is we can be our own worst enemies, I guess. So. Always make it better. That's, that's the thing about yeah. video games. Like, always make it better. Kind of squeeze the team for about three weeks before you start getting yeah. you know, diminishing returns. You know, yeah, diminishing If you're abusing you start getting tired and you start making mistakes. And it's better to come in the next day. And many times where I've come in or I've had a really hard problem that night and then I come in the next day and I'm like, oh, this is me. But you do see a lot of people online saying, oh, if they, it's, it's a management problem, it's a, it's a scheduling problem. It's like, well, 
yes, that is part of it. And sometimes it's all of it, depending on the company that you're at. But a lot of it is not that. A lot of it is you're trying to compete and you get something in and you don't, just like you can't design a game on paper and say, here it is, team, go make this game. I'll see you in two years. You, you also, until you actually start playing it, you, it's iterative. And so you can stick to your schedule and hit your dates, but once you have what you've got, you almost need a different schedule. Yeah. Which I will say is why I'm so grateful that the people funding this game is saying, hey, don't even worry right now about your visuals and your, I mean, we're worried about them, but it's like, we want you to find the game, we want you to find the gameplay and the focus. Uh, and that's, that's a rare opportunity, so I, I'm happy we have it. So. Hey guys, this is Chris here at the Bartlett Jones Supernatural Detective Agency, and we have our first cookie receiver. So we're gonna bring the monster out and deliver our first cookie. I'm sorry, I'm Nate. Nate. Yes. Okay, hi, I'm Chris. Nate. Nate. Nice to meet you. How you doing? I hear there's cookies. Huh? Right behind you, actually. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is half of Bartlett Jones. He's not here yet. He's gonna write me a nice letter, but. Uh... You're the second recipient of the Barkley Jones cookie. And in fact, you also let me let me get the, the latest beast that Barkley has captured. You be fucking nice. You be nice to Jared. Be careful he bites. He's, yeah. Come say hi. Come on, it's okay. He won't bite. He won't bite. Where Jared, they, this is Jared. Where did they find you? No, no, not the glasses. Hey. Not, go back, go back. Go. Jesus Christ. Hey, fight that. Hey, hey. Jared, I'm sorry. It's unprofessional. It's fucking unprofessional. Yes. Come get your cookie if you're watching this. What are you waiting on? Jared? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Run, Jared. Run. Just go. I'll up the door. All of us, which are here, is just us right now. Happy Halloween. Thank Happy you very Christmas. much. You're welcome. <laughs> this, this is a creature. Get out of here. Get out of here. captured you. Gentle. Gentle. What's your name again? I am. Okay. Creature, say hi. See? See? Hi. Okay, go back. Go back. Go back. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much for our interest. Well, for Marla Jones and us, Happy Halloween, you guys. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you for oh, you're feeding monster. Yes. Come on, Katie wants to meet you. Oh, Jesus. Come on. No, it's not Jesus. No. <laughs> I feel like this is Katie. This is Katie. Say hi. No, no, no. Here. No, I. You have to give me that back. <laughs> hi. And, and this is Brian. Is that right? Yes. Brian. He he works at Volkswagen. No, no. Hey, hey, hey. Backstairs, go fucking motherfuckers! All right, well, it's exhausting. Doing that all day long. You gotta build a game. You gotta deal with that. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Have fun. All right, bye, guys. Jones. Hello? Who is this? It's Mike. What made you decide to start programming games? Uh, I like the keyboard. I've been dead for 50 years, and even I just need adventures. What the fuck is wrong with you? I hate that movie, man. It sucks. What's your favorite movie? The Godfather? The Beatles? Favorite song? Uh... I don't know, man. How tall are you? I'm 5'11". What are some of the games you've worked on? Twisted Metal? The better one? Which one was that? That was 3 and 4. How do you sleep at night knowing what you've done? I don't. I don't sleep very well. What is the favorite game that you've worked on? Uh, Deadpool? What's the phrase? It means nothing to me. Why don't you love me? I do love you. You're much better than I thought you were. If given the opportunity, would you adopt your raise Emmanuel Lewis, Gary Goldman, or the kid who got chunk in the Goonies? Uh, <laughs> the Goonies. You would adopt all the Goonies? Yes. If you had to guess a famous movie star, alive or dead, who would it be? Uh, Farrah Fawcett. 
We should be dead or alive. Alive. You should try to see the dead. Fuck you! is not in service at this time. I am so fucking pissed right now. Capturing fucking footage for video games is the worst fucking job in the world. But if you capture the right footage, what happens, Nick? It's magics. It's magics. It's magics. It's like Dumbledore magics. But I'm so angry. <laughs> Are we ready? Mother! Mother! Don't you fucking film me. Don't you film me in my moment of stress. Fuck, do it again. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck! 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 Don't let the programmer see me like this. God damn it! God damn it! No! 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 Fuck! Fuck! God damn it! Do you realize that this pathetic, that that's probably the best thing that's gonna happen to me all day long? <laughs> that was so great! Well, you know, I'm glad. I got over that. That was uh, that was the old Jaffe coming through, you know. It's just you get so excited and so passionate, and that okay. happens. It was so. quite entertaining. I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my losing my shit on camera. So, uh, this is Kristen, by the way. You may know her as uh, Game Meets Girl at her own website, but she's working with us on a lot of this stuff. Oh yeah. Um, we are in actually one of the secret passages that goes underneath the building at the Bartlett Jones Supernatural Detective Agency. Uh, we had promised uh, on the last episode that we were going to show you guys some of our ghost hunting uh, adventures, not the Bartlett stuff. That's kind of you know. We can't show a lot of that stuff right now. We'll explain. Actually, you know a lot more about why now that you'll talk oh, about. Oh, yeah. But, um, oh, yeah, so we're going to show this thing. And we ended up getting, when we put that video out last week, we ended up getting contacted by one of the actual, you know, those reality ghost hunting shows. And we can't say which one it is. Um, but they're suddenly intrigued, and they may want to do something with us and with that footage. And, and so we'll see. Bartlett's very much about let's raise the profile, which, again, is something you guys... Let me, I'll, just, I'll talk to you about that in a second, because people what the fuck are you talking about? But uh, anyway, so we are going to show that, but it may end up being on, like, an actual show, which is really fucking cool. Yeah. Um, your shit, you're, you filmed it and cut it, and that's cool. Yeah. But no, t I keep saying to Kristen, because uh, well, what do you got coming up next episode? Cool. Well, I actually got to interview Bartlett Jones, because people don't think he is real, yeah. but he's actually really nice guy and like, I never really got a chance to meet him before because he was I think you're like the fourth person at the studio. Nick yeah. and I and Mike have met him because he's not here all that often and then no, you, you got to traveling and stuff but it was really cool he's really interesting and he has so much wisdom to share about all this paranormal and he's stuff. still Fucking, it's like Stan Lee, right? He's yeah. 80, he's almost 80, and he's like fucking action hero. I mean, not really, you know what I'm It's saying. crazy, yeah. But like, you know, since he doesn't like being on camera, it's more like... That's not that he doesn't like it. I can't wait for you to tell him. You oh, gotta, it's gonna you gotta, be really cool. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be really it's cool. really cool why he doesn't like to be on camera. Yeah. Um, creepy, but anyway. Yeah. Okay, so there's that, and then uh, the cookies, yes? That's right. So you guys, you can come down to the studio at any time and get a cookie until October 31st. Yeah. So it's how do they find us? How do they know well, what we are? Well, if you guys are? check it out on the Facebook, we have the address. So anyway, so I'm done. We'll see you soon. If you guys have any questions for oh, us yeah. about anything, you can ask us on the YouTube channel, Facebook, Twitter, and we'll try to respond to you directly on the next weekly update video. Yeah. Miss you. See you guys. I'll, I'll miss you too. I'll reply to you on Twitter. <sighs> We're such camera whores. We really have to get off the camera. We have to get back to work. Let's go. Okay, bye. All right, bye. <laughs>